Chloe. Thanks for joining us. So I will kick off and ask, out of all of the spy techniques that they, Sophie learns in the movie, which one would you love to learn in real life? I Sophie is so manipulative. I, she, all the the way that she blackmails JJ is is so smart. If I could do that, I I would. It, she gets her way all the time with him because she has information that she can just expose with him. And if I would, if I was able to do that, that would be pretty cool. Hi, Hi Chloe. How are you? Good. How have you been? Good. So um, I am actually going to let my 10 year old son, this is Lincoln. He wants to ask you a question. I love that. Uh, how did you uh, feel when you found out there's a scene where you're training to be a spy? I, I've grown up loving spy movies. Uh, I remember I used to do like a bunch of art when I would draw spy gadgets or like spy outfits. And I was so excited to, you know, be in this movie and, you know, about spies. And, but, you know, my spy is also about relationships that, you know, two people have because Sophie and JJ are such opposites, which makes their chemistry so good together. And, you know, all the stunt scenes and everything that is in this movie, because the trailer is just covering up all this stuff. There's so much more that you guys are going to enjoy. So Friday, June 26th, you'll be able to see it. Hi, my name is Bailey. I'm the owner of Bailey's Mailbox, representing Bernetta Style. I, I just want to thank you, Chloe, for your time and speaking with me. Um, I know we're around the same age, so that's pretty cool. So my question is, um, why, uh, when you first, um, since, you're the leader, since you're the leader of the play, was it hard for you to learn French? Oh the leader of the movie, sorry. I, I love French. I mean, when we went to Europe and Paris, it was just amazing. It was really hard to like, be able to pronounce some of the syllables and words. And I was just kind of talking to for me. But it was so fun, too, because, you know, you get to learn this different language. But it was it was so hard at first. But then when you get to say it fluently, I felt so proud. That's pretty cool. Thank you for answering my question. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you. Hi, Chloe. Hi. We truly enjoyed the movie. Thank you so much for being with us today. I'm going to hand it. over. So nice. <laughs> I'm going to hand it over today to my son, our Cool Mom School Tips uh, correspondent. Hi, Chloe. Um, Hi. So I have a few questions for you. In the last scene of the movie, where, like, the last action scene, actually. Yeah. There was an ex <laughs> the plane exploded. Mm -hmm. Were you afraid, or was that just CGI? So we actually had it was it was CGI, but it was so cool to make. So what we had was we had this plane on a giant track. It was a real plane, and they had dug out this massive hole in the ground, and they put a blue screen there to make it look like a cliff. And when they edited it, they made they edited it. They cut out the plane, and you know the, I'm I'm not an expert on CGI. But it was CGI, and the way that it turned out was just so cool because of how real it looks in the end. So I heard that you wanted to be an animator when you growed up. Yeah, I'm, I'm really into animating, actually. I know there's, like, some apps that I sometimes use on my PC. Like, there's Blender, which is a 3D animation app where you can also, you know, craft 3D items. And I've been, I've, it's very hard to work. I just, I just downloaded it and I'm like doing my best to try and figure out how this thing works. So I've been watching tutorials and, you know, trying to figure out how to animate and it's really been a lot of fun. How do you, yeah, thank you. Hi. Hi. Love the film. We already watched it twice. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you so much. So I know you mentioned this is a spy movie and there's relationships here. Um, that's also a key component. So what message are you hoping that your audience walks away with after watching the film? 
I think the main message that I want people to know is that this is a film, you know, about two opposite people that help each other because Sophie sees JJ as a father figure and he is that to her. And the relationship that they have together is true chemistry and love because, you know, he's, she, he is a mentor for her and she's a bit of a mentee. So it's, a, you know, a real partner relationship. And it, it's also a movie that when I watch My Spy, I want people to just be able to relax and, you know, be able to, it's a family movie, just to enjoy it and relax back from everything that's happening and feel good and happy. Thank you. It does that. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you so much. Hi, Chloe. It's Amanda from Crazy Amanda Reacts on YouTube. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining us. My question is, you know, the character you play is a little uh, interesting, you know, feisty and all that. I wondered how are you alike and, and also not alike in, in, uh, compared to your character? I think Sophie, uh, she... She, like I said, she's very manipulative. Uh, you know, I I would never, she's also techie. She really loves tech. That is something we have in common because I love using technology to edit and stuff like that. And she uses it to go and find them in their little hideout. And she finds out a way, all to, a way to blackmail him and record it. Like she has this planned out. Like I, mm -hmm. I would not be able to come up with that on the spot. <laughs> so, but I also think that we both um, have struggle a bit in school because I know that she gets bullied. I, I don't get bullied, but I understand how she can just struggle sometimes to fit in because mm -hmm. it's hard in schools. You know, I, I really love my school and they're super supportive. But sometimes when you're gone for a long time, when I go to film and you come back, you just feel out of the loop kind of and I understand how she could, might feel coming into a new town. No, thank you. Hi, I'm sorry, it's Onika. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, so my question is, um, in the movie Sophia, the character you're playing is learning a whole bunch of different things. Um, but I wanted to find out, was there anything fun that you did learn, whether on set or while filming? Well, this My Spy is my first movie with doing any big stunts like that. And when we did the plane scene, some people think that the plane might have been, uh, you know, edited in CGI to be moving. But the rig that we were sitting in on the plane would actually shake during the scene, which just, it gave me so much energy and it felt so real to me. And that was definitely my favorite thing. You know, you just need to, you need to get in a space where you feel like you're really on that plane and it's about to fall off the cliff. That's what I learned. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Hi. my daughter, Ivy. It's actually her birthday today. So she was really Hi. excited to get to see you on her birthday. Yeah. You go ahead, ask your question. Um, what's the funniest thing that happened on Sam? On set. Oh, okay. So our director, Pete Siegel, did a lot of swearing, and I had a swear jar around the set. And it was just, I don't know how he didn't learn from the experience, because I would sneak up on him, and every time, it would happen so much, and I would catch him swearing, and I'd be like, swear jar, you have to pay. And he would just get so upset, but he just never learned from it. And it was so funny, because I kept getting him over and over again and he just hated it <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you guys happy birthday thanks hi it's jennifer from real mom of sfv nice to meet you nice to meet you your movie was really cute very family friendly my family enjoyed it um thank i wanted to ask you your character has a little dog in the movie and I wanted to know, what was it like filming with the dog? Um, was there anything funny that happened on set with the dog in particular? And did they have to switch out the dog for certain scenes like stunts? So the dog, um, there was actually two dogs that we had there. And sometimes I would get them confused, which, uh, um, which, which was funny. But I absolutely loved working with the dog. He, you know, he was cute. I believe he was, 
I forget the breed of the dog, but there would be this green room that you could go in after set and the dogs would be there and you could go and see them. And it was so nice because it was my first time working with live animals. And, uh, you know, they were like really well-trained dogs. I mean, I've never seen such a well-trained dog before, you know, whenever the, like we had some scenes where it had to go up and lick JJ's neck because it, it liked him because it gave him bacon in an earlier scene. And it was just, it was a very well-trained dog and I loved working with both of them. Hi, can you hear us? Hi. Hi, okay, I'm gonna hand it over to my son. Okay, introduce yourself. I'm Carter and this is my little sister, Kimmy. Hi. And our question that? is, okay, and right our here. question is, what was your favorite scene to shoot? I'd say that my favorite scene to shoot was probably the scene where I had to say goodbye to JJ for the last time mm -hmm. because it was an emotional scene, you know, that sets up the relationship that they had built together because they had become so close and now she's having to say goodbye to her father figure, you know, best friend. He's everything to her. And yeah. um, mm -hmm. emotional scenes, I think, mean a lot to me because I really do feel emotional because I'm really crying. And acting with Dave, it's not acting. It feels so real. So it felt like I was saying goodbye to him. And, you know, I didn't want to, so I felt sad. And that was my favorite. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Have a nice day. Chloe. Hi. Thanks for including us in this experience. It was wonderful. My son and I loved you and Timmy Failure. Like this morning, he was like, you get to interview Molly Moskins? <laughs> so he like completely <laughs> lost his mind. Oh, um, so sweet. You did so, I mean, it was an incredible performance. Um, one thing I really appreciated just how much your character had this incredible emotional IQ, uh, complex motivations. Uh, my question is, how has My Spy uh, helped you grow as an actor? Uh, working with the cast, it's such an amazing cast. I mean, Dave, it's very, so easy to connect with him. When we had our chemistry read is when we really clicked, and I will always remember that. Because when we, you know, when we filmed, it was so real, and I was really able to be in the moment and feel what I had to feel. So the emotional scenes felt very real to me, and I'm, I really liked that. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Hi, Chloe. I'm Kathy with Bel Air Mommy. Thank you so much for being here, and we absolutely loved your movie. Thank you so, so much. Of course. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi, Chloe. This is Angela from Queen Bee Latina. Thank you for uh, chatting with us today. Um, what was it like working with David Bautista? Um, I watched some of your TikToks and you guys are hilarious. Um, and I enjoy watching them. Is he really that tough? I mean, you know, he looks a little, you know, he, but you, your chemistry is, like you said, is awesome. But what was it like working um. with him? First meeting him, uh, I was a bit intimidated because of how, you know, right. he was, but after we did the scene and, you know, we talked, I really got to know him and he's, he's not as intimidating as you think. He's, he's such a sweet person. I mean, he's a lifelong friend to me. I mean, uh, we were, I really, I'm so grateful that we met each other because, you know, we relate to each other so much and he's always somebody that I can rely on and working on set uh he really is an amazing actor sure there here and there he doesn't know all of his lines but um he's so real and he really commits to the scene and i love that about him because then i'm able to act off his energy that's awesome thank you thank you so much hi chloe it's candy from candy palooza thanks hi. for joining us so back to the swear jar. <laughs> In the last, uh, I guess, it, well, after the plane falls, uh, you know, you have a, a bit of a uh, moment. Did you make any additions to the swear jar? And what happened with the money that was uh, raised, I guess? <laughs> so originally i was not planned to say that line that was just a, a backup it was another you know option that we could have used and like you know they're, they're not going to use the line and <laughs> actually any swear lines in the movie didn't count because you know there were particular characters that were swearing and then they ended up using it and i was like 
did they they used it oh my gosh they used it and they <laughs> and i raised actually 256 dollars. that's how many people were swearing on the set it's <laughs> crazy and so i raised it to 500 dollars, and i donated it to the amazon rainforest because they were on fire <laughs> and it's funny because now uh my spies with amazon prime video and so it's almost it was almost like a, a setup because it's amazon the amazon rainforest and amazon this is true thank you so much thank you Um, how did you get into acting? I was around the age of five years old, like even younger, six. And my mom, uh, my mom was a producer and my dad is a cameraman. And they would sometimes film me and they said that I was just very free and, you know, real. And my mom decided, you know, let's, let's, uh, get, maybe let's get Chloe a job and have her start acting. And I started acting and I absolutely loved it as a kid because all the, you know, commercials, everything I auditioned for, it was just getting to create the story and I, and I loved it. And the, I booked small, uh, smaller things like big, uh, Glee and smaller commercials. And the first big thing I booked was Big Little Lies. And that was the first big movie family I made. And I was so grateful that I started acting because now I really enjoy it so much. Thank you. Uh, how did you prepare for the movie? So every movie, how I prepare is we get the script and we read through it a bunch of times and then we memorize each scene by scene. So three to four scenes, maybe two scenes a day. And so that by the time we are, we start filming, I know pretty much all the scenes. So if, you know, we have a table read or we want to run through a scene, I'm ready. And I, I like to be prepared because I have the movie mapped out in my head and all the scenes are memorized. And I think it's uh, it's a bit more of a, I like, it, it feels organized to me so I can work in a bit of that way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh yes, I wanted to know, um, you had such great chemistry with uh, both the, the actress who played your mom and also Dave. Um, did you guys rehearse a, a lot on set or did you have off time, off camera bonding moments to kind of facilitate that, that uh, on screen chemistry of, of closeness with your mom's character? Yeah, we, we had, we actually had a lot of fun on and off set. I remember the first uh, table read that we had, which was so fun with our director, Pete Siegel, and we had a table read. And it, it was really fun because, you know, I just, we had just met everybody and we got to read through it and it was really nice. And we've all, I spent a lot of time offset with Dave and yeah. you know, we got to spend time together and, uh, you know, let our relationship grow. And he's been, all of them have become such good friends. You know, my spy has become such a good family to me. And Dave actually even got a tattoo, <laughs> for, which, really shocked me. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, my question is, I mean, you talked about, you know, giving back to charity and, um, I went on your Twitter and saw that you're kind of really vocal about you were talking about the protest and wearing masks and things like that. I just wanted to know, you know, how I see you know, your voice and, and how important is it for you to use like your fame and everything to give back and, and you know, for the greater good, use it for the greater good. Thank you very much. Um, the experience that we've all been going through right now has really been a learning experience for me and my generation because I really believe that our generation is here to make change because we know and we understand what's going on and we're here to help others understand and I want to use my voice to, to help others and you know make people understand that black lives matter I believe black lives matter because I'm half black and my dad's black and my mom is white and it's it's always been an important role to me it never has not been it's something that, you know, everybody should respect and know, and I want to be able to use my voice to make sure people know that.
Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.